The Central Club. Leaving Liverpool, going to prison. What was um, what was the feeling like of when you were stood in court and they were like they sentenced you, like, and, and then you were going there. What was that whole thing like? What what, what was going through your head, uh, like, when they said you're going down for eighteen years? Well, I was getting told you're getting thirty five years. <sighs> so it was a touch. So in my <laughs> mind, so say I get arrested two thousand and four. I'm in custody for just under three years on remand. No convictions, just on remand. So during them three years, I condition my mind into I'm doing a 30 rec. Whilst I'm on remand, I've already put it in my head, I'm getting a 30 rec. You know what I mean? So your mind's a powerful thing, mate. Your mind can overcome everything it's put in front of it without substance misuse. The minute you start using substances to overpower your brain, that's when you're going wrong, that's when addictions form and that's when you start going down a downward spiral because they can't handle the, the pressure the brain's given to you. If, you. if you deal with that pressure, not many people have felt the numbness of the brain. The people that have felt the numbness of the brain will know what I'm referring to right now. If you felt that numbness in your brain at them depressive times and them moments, you're entering places in your brain that no one else has entered and it's making you different. It's giving you something unique that no one else has got. I've been to that dark hole a few times and felt that numbness a few times. It's not a bad thing. Yeah. It's not a bad thing. If you were doing 30 plus years, like, what were you thinking? Like, oh my God, like I'm actually doing 30. So when, when I'm getting told by my legal team, this is borderline contract killing. So the judge is looking on giving you 30 to 35 recommendation. That, that was mandatory for the crime, yeah? So where I'm, all, I'm, I'm, I'm settling in my mind. I'm getting a 30 rec. Now, what do I want to do here? Do I want to carry on smoking weed, carry on doing this shit, carry on doing this shit, and then get out when I'm 60, not even able to have an add-on? 